Well, hi, everybody. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. It is Tuesday, July 1st, 2025. Uh, we're experiencing a pretty heavy thunderstorm here in the mid Atlantic uh, right now. Uh, but down to the south, there's even a more intense storm. This updates for the All Hazards Consortium, the sensitive information sharing environment where we share information across platforms so private sector liaisons at emergency operations centers across states can share information with the private sector owner and operators. And uh, let's get right to it. We're going to try to make this quickly. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting any power hits or not, uh, so we'll do this quick. Hurricane Flossie, look at it. It is making uh, some impressive intensification over the last day or so. Now, uh, winds of Flossie, and let's take it full screen. Winds of Flossie are uh, 110 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the stats here. Right in from the National Hurricane Center. This is of uh, as of 1 o'clock uh, Central uh, Eastern uh, Daylight Time. Uh, advisory number 10, Flossie does continue to strengthen. Look at that, 110 mile an hour winds. Now, that's a Category 2 hurricane, but... Category three starts at 111 miles per hour. We always prepare for one category higher. Uh, the fortunate thing is you can see where the direction of movement is taking it. Northwest at 10 miles per hour. So it will get further away from the Mexican coastline. Here's Puerto Vallarta right in here. And, uh, or sorry, right up in here. And uh, it looks like the winds will start to diminish uh, in this area. Uh, over the next uh, several hours or so. Uh, pressure, central pressure down to 966 millibars, located 17.5 north, 106.5 west. Movement northwest at 10 miles per hour. Now, let me just take this full screen because I want to back out a little bit and show you what else is going on uh, because the National Hurricane Center is watching this area or potential tropical development. You can see right here, we have some thunderstorms and clouds that are forming in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, this uh, could be an area that a system could develop, and it may just be a little circulation, a low pressure system, uh, but conditions are a little bit more favorable for something to develop either in the northeast Gulf of Mexico or here along the southeast coast. And I'm going to switch over to uh, GeoCollaborate here so you can see where that area of potential development is. Uh, it has uh, increased in just a little bit in size along the southeast coast. Uh, now the National Hurricane Center places a 30% chance of development here over seven days, a 0% chance over the next two days. And we'll be watching this because overall there is a general area of low pressure uh, and when this frontal system that is now plaguing the uh, mid-Atlantic states uh, right now with this severe thunderstorm watch and multiple severe thunderstorm warnings and also flood warnings going on there, I'll talk about those in just a second, that front is going to sag down and become stationary across Florida. And that's what's going to give uh, sort of a focus for winds to come from the south and the north and create a circulation somewhere in this area. Now, those of you, uh, I know we have quite a few viewers in uh, Florida. Those of you living in Florida, I wouldn't worry about this right now. We're just keeping an eye on it. Uh, it could um, develop into something over the next seven days. So we're talking about the end of this week or over the weekend, and we'll be watching it each and every day. There are some severe thunderstorm warnings in effect off the coast of Alabama and uh, Mississippi here. And overall, there's just a general um, probability here uh, that uh, areas in green and also in the mid-Atlantic here will experience heavy rainfall. Now, it is raining very heavily right now in the mid-Atlantic, uh, and that is producing rainfall rates of one to two inches per hour and uh, also creating localized flooding. Uh, the National Weather Service uh, Storm Prediction Center has issued what they call a mesoscale discussion for the mid-Atlantic here, uh, thinking that uh, some of these storms could produce very strong winds, 60 uh, miles per hour or more, which would put it into the severe storm criteria. But you can see generally from Maine down to the Gulf Coast, heavy rain and embedded thunderstorms 
is likely because of this slow moving front not really a cold front but it's a slow moving front coming through and i'll dive down here into the mid-atlantic and you can see this is a severe thunderstorm watch area here the darker pink is the mesoscale discussion from the national weather service and rainfall rates once again uh, could reach one to two inches per hour and if it extends for any more than an hour we could be talking about very localized flash flooding. Uh, there's a flood warning right now in Charleston, West Virginia, in the mountains here, over towards extreme southern Ohio. Uh, that is because of those intense rainfall amounts. Let's go over and look at the uh, Weather Service high-resolution Doppler radar. This is what it looks like right now. Uh, this is live as a, uh, at 428 Eastern Time. And you can see what's going on. Look at this area of strong to severe thunderstorms uh, that are moving through Anne Arundel County, Baltimore City right now. Uh, there are flood warnings uh, issued. Southern Montgomery County and Fairfax County and Washington, D.C., close to Washington, D.C., uh, because of those heavy rainfall rates. And this storm system is moving through right now, creating quite a bit of rain even up towards southern Pennsylvania, you can see all this rain. This is what uh, what it looks like from the standpoint of uh, multiple thunderstorms uh, moving through this area. Severe thunderstorm warnings going on there as well. There is a very high uh, moisture level in the atmosphere, and uh, that is resulting in intense rainfalls uh, that could produce this localized flooding. Some of these storms also popping up across the Chesapeake Bay uh, could create some very strong winds on Maryland's eastern shore, Delaware, and down towards the beaches as well. And these showers and storms will move from the Chesapeake Bay and grow and impact the beaches here as well. But the high concentration of very heavy and intense rainfall from central Virginia around Charlottesville, Harrisburg, on up uh, into the uh, Washington, D.C. area, Baltimore, Annapolis, and up into southern Pennsylvania. So uh, it's going to be a stormy next uh, several hours, and we may have indeed uh, some severe weather to talk about well into this evening uh, into Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, even New York City, uh, on into western Connecticut. So that will impact uh, in localized areas uh, critical infrastructure like bridges and roads, uh, there could be some washed out roads. And as the uh, day gets dark, be very, very careful as you're driving across uh, uh, any sort of low lying area. That's where we're uh, thinking that uh, this will be very uh, severe. Now I want to show you too, this is the uh, mesoscale sector of the GOES satellite. And look at all these bubbles. These are big thunderstorms here. I'll pull this down just a little bit. Look at these thunderstorms here in parts of Pennsylvania. Whenever you see those bubbles, uh, that is likely to be a severe storm uh, as, these, uh, as this breaks the cap here a little bit. You can see it bubbling up in the atmosphere. That means very strong vertical velocities and also very intense rainfall. And that is really filled in here from Washington up to Baltimore over to Annapolis. So uh, that's the way the satellite imagery and the analysis looks. Again, down towards the south, uh, I know some of you may be uh, very concerned uh, about what might be developing uh, here in uh, the southeast part of the U.S. And I'll, I'll take you back to that here. This is the National Hurricane Center's outlook. It is a, there's a 30% likelihood that something will develop. It doesn't mean it's going to be a hurricane. It doesn't mean it's even going to be a tropical storm. It could be just be a tropical depression or a subtropical low pressure system. Uh, but the chances are there as this front sags across Florida. Uh, one thing for sure, there is a lot of moisture uh, in the southeast U.S. right now. And no matter what happens, whether this develops or not, there's going to be quite a bit of rain that falls in Florida, central Florida, up to northern Florida, uh, perhaps some heavy thunderstorms. That could cause some localized flooding. And we'll be watching that for you as well as time goes on. Uh, but uh, Florida had been in a drought for quite a long time, but it's usually the tropical season that breaks those droughts. And that's what we're going to see 
uh, in central and northern Florida as this front sags over here. It's just going to be a focus, focal point for moisture and convergence, and that means storms and heavy rain. So uh, let's look out just real quickly. Let's look out to the west here and show you what it looks like. Uh, we do have some advisories for uh, heat out here in the Pacific Northwest, heat advisory in eastern Washington and uh, Oregon, close to Portland, but not including Portland, and also a red flag warning in parts of uh, northern California and southern and central Oregon. That means if wildfires develop, conditions are favorable for those wildfires to spread rapidly. That also exists through central Nevada, also into Utah, and just south in parts of Arizona. Well, that's the outlook for today. Uh, I'll be joining you tomorrow and give you a little bit more from the uh, model perspective and show you what it looks like from that forecast. Uh, storms are getting kind of heavy here in the mid-Atlantic, so uh, I'm going to call it quits right now uh, so we can process this video and upload it. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a All Hazards Consortium, sensitive information sharing environment update. I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. Please watch out for yourself and also watch out for your neighbors. They really do appreciate it. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow.